Well, well tell me this. Uh, there's a lot of history, Louisville history of Walnut Street. What happened to that world that you lived in, and when did it happen? Happened in 64, around 64. Urban renewal, urban removal. <laughs> Interesting enough, I think, as I heard, on there was a KT program on uh, the re re tearing down from Walnut Street all up in that area. And uh, I never will forget the former mayor, Farnsley, made a statement as he was riding along in his big stretch Mercedes limo that I got to sit in <laughs> because I was working for Barney Bright and we were doing the river horse. Mm -hmm. And he pulled up in this big long stretch limo. And I got off the horse and I went down and I looked in the window <laughs> and his wife was sitting in the car. And I said, ooh, this is a pretty, ooh, this car is beautiful. She said, get in, sit down, sit down. I'm in my, all my scuffy, dirty clothes and I'm sitting in the driver's seat and here's the mayor, former mayor and, 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 and Frank Burt. Remember Frank Burt, former mayor Frank Burt? They were together, came down to see Barney's River Horse, but I digress. Mm -hmm. But in the program that he was on, he said, you know, uh, we, we just didn't have a choice. We just had to, they, in some cases, they were getting too close. It was getting too close to to the 4th Street car, and they wanted to kind of control that whole 4th Street area and, and, and just literally just take out that black section. And they called it Urban Renewal, urban and the renewal. idea was what was supposed the to replace urban, Walnut re Street. Yeah. It, nothing ever replaced it, but in, in our minds and in the people's minds who was being replaced, what little monies they got for replacement, they just went 20 different ways. There was nothing that was on paper to say, okay, we're going to tear all this down, but we're going to recreate, you know, stuff. None of it, it never got to that. It was just like, here, here's your money. Oh, you don't want to go? Well, we'll just play eminent domain and just take your space, you know. And so what little bit of money they got to relocate, mom relocated down at 26 in uh, Madison. She kept the barbershop. She kept the barbershop open until about probably late, uh, late 70s. Would you say that this urban renewal came, did it break the spirit or the back of? Well, I think it broke the spirit of a whole lot of people, you know, and uh, it, 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 what it broke was the sense of community and the sense of being around like, you know, people. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of over with. And see, it was just at the beginning of uh, the uh, later open housing, you know, because you couldn't live in Parkland. You know, you had, you had, there were certain places where you could live, but they redlined it, you know. And so I guess once, and mom brought the property down there. I don't know what year she brought the property down there at, at, on Beach, 1546 Beach Street between Wilson Avenue and, and, and uh, Southern. And back in those days, that was all white, you know. And, and going toward Market Street was all, all that. Portland and Market Street, all of that. Uh, you know, it was pretty much all white. Because when we bought down on uh, 43rd Street, uh, the block was still pretty much predominantly white because I went to Shawnee High School. Mm -hmm. But I realized when I was in high school, there were no blacks within that area. So we got on our bus and got on cross town, you know. 